With the motion path filter, users can automate the process of animating objects along a Bezier path in 3D space. In this tutorial, we'll generate some simple 3D primitives and use the motion path filter to create a Bezier path along which the objects will be evenly distributed while rotating around the path shape. We'll then animate the objects themselves to make the effect look a little more interesting. First, set the timeline duration to 3 seconds. From the window menu, open the keyframe palette. Set the default interpolation to linear. Close the palette. In the timeline, click the Add Spline Primitive button. In the Controls window, select the heart shape. Click the Fill tab. Set the color of the heart to red by clicking on the color chip and selecting red in the color window. In the timeline, select the heart track. In the Controls window, set Scale X and Y to 25 with a constant interpolation. In the timeline, click the Add 3D Model Container button. This nests the heart shape in the container. Click the shape icon for the heart track and choose 3D Extrusion. Select the container track in the timeline and add a motion path filter by choosing it from the motion menu in the filters menu. The motion path filter should now be nested in the container along with the heart shape. Open the motion path filter and select its path track. If the toolbar is not open, open it from the window menu. Select the oval tool and draw an oval closed path shape in the composition window. Select the motion path track. If not enabled, select the Angle to Path checkbox. Set the On Path Motion Interpolation to Linear. Move the CTI to frame 75 and set the On Path Motion to one rotation with Accelerate Interpolation. Move the CTI to the end of the timeline and set the On Path Motion to three rotations with Linear Interpolation. Preview the effect. The heart now runs along the path. Stop the preview and return the CTI to frame 0. In the timeline, close up the heart track and then select it. Duplicate the shape 8 times by pressing Ctrl D on Windows or Command D on Macintosh. This creates a total of 9 hearts. Select the motion path track in the timeline. In the controls window, select the multiple objects checkbox. This distributes all nine shapes evenly along the path. Now we'll animate the path in 3D space. In the timeline, select the 3D container track. Set scale XYZ of the 3D container to zero with linear interpolation. Set tumble to minus 20 degrees with constant interpolation. Set spin to minus 60 degrees with ease in out interpolation. Move the CTI to frame 75. Set scale XYZ to 100 with linear interpolation. Move the CTI to the end of the effect. Set scale XYZ to 600 with linear interpolation. Set spin interpolation to ease in out. Now preview the effect. The hearts move along the path and zoom from infinity out past the camera. Now we'll animate the heart separately from the path. Stop playback and return the CTI to frame 0. Select the top heart track. Shift select the bottom heart track. This selects all of the heart tracks. In the controls window, set the tumble interpolation to ease in out. Go to frame 30 and set tumble to 45 degrees with ease in out interpolation. Go to frame 60 and set tumble to minus 45 degrees with ease in out interpolation. Move the CTI to the end of the effect and set the tumble to minus 1 revolution, minus 45 degrees with ease in out interpolation. Play the effect using preview to RAM. A complete explanation of the animation capabilities of RED can be found in the online knowledge base on the Boris Effects website or in the electronic help system included with RED.